In today's video, we are going to be comparing two unique and spirited breeds, the Chihuahua and the French Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chihuahua Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Chihuahua Show. So let's dive into today's video and take a look at the key similarities and differences between these two characterful breeds. Like many breeds, the Chihuahua's origins are unclear, but it is generally thought that they descend from a Central or South American dog known as the Techichi. The Techichi was a mute dog that was kept by a group of people called the Toltec. They were slightly heavier and larger than the Chihuahuas we know today. Toltec carvings that date back to the 9th century show dogs resembling Chihuahuas with the same large ears and round head. In the 12th century when the Aztecs conquered they took this dog into their society and are believed to have refined it into a smaller lighter breed that more closely resembled the Chihuahua we recognize today. When Americans visited the region they found lots of examples of the breed in the state of Chihuahua giving the breed their name. Lots of the dogs were taken back to America and they quickly grew in popularity, being registered by the AKC in 1904. The French Bulldog became a popular breed in the lace-making industry hub of Nottingham around 150 years ago. Derived from the old Bulldog breeds, they were bred to be smaller and more compact than their fighting ancestors. It was from here that this loyal little dog was taken over to France with workers after the collapse of the Industrial Revolution. Their popularity travelled from Normandy to Paris and continued to grow. In France they became known as the Bulldogs Francais. These lively little dogs made their way into all walks of Parisian life from cafe owners and rag traders to ladies of the night. The French then became guardians of the breed and cultivated the compact body and straightened legs while ridding them of the underbite of the old English bulldog. Chihuahuas are small dogs with rounded heads and short, slightly pointed muzzles and well-defined jaw lines. They have large ears that flare out set at an angle of 45 degrees. They are extremely compact little dogs but despite this everything about their appearance is perfectly proportionate. The Chihuahua has both short and long coats. These coats are soft to touch and naturally sleek. There are many different accepted colours of Chihuahua. In fact, there are approximately 40 different colours and colour combinations. Only one colour is never accepted. Male. Both male and female Chihuahuas stand between 6 and 10 inches at the shoulders and should weigh between 4 to 6 pounds. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, we officially are on TikTok and you can come and follow us all over there. No, you're not going to see me dance into different songs, but what you will see is much more of me working with dogs and showing you all the different tips and tricks that you need to raise perfect canine companions. So if you're on TikTok, you want to come and say hello, I can't wait to see you over there. There'll be a link in the description box below. The French Bulldog is a much much less fragile breed than a Chihuahua and its general appearance can be described as compact. They will be no taller than 19 inches at the shoulder and males should weigh no more than 12 kilograms. Females should be no more than 10 kilograms. The French Bulldog Club of England describes them as having no point of exaggeration. Their skulls are domed with well-developed cheek muscles, a broad jaw and no exaggerated jowls. Even their ears are rounded. Whilst the breed standard calls for stuck-up bat ears, they shouldn't come to a point. Perhaps the most striking feature or lack of in a French Bulldog is its muzzle. This breed has a famously short muzzle, making them a brachycephalic breed. Chihuahuas are very lovable and affectionate dogs who love to be curled up napping on your lap. They do not require excessive amounts of exercise, 30 minutes a day of play or a walk is sufficient. They do however need plenty of mental stimulation. They're a very playful and intelligent breed which certainly helps with training. They can learn both obedience commands as well as being capable of learning a few tricks. However, a common misconception is that the Chihuahua is just a lap dog. They are a big dog in a tiny body. They are alert and feisty and will certainly not shy away from defending themselves when they need to. Although cautious by nature, they are fine around people once they get to know them. They are also known to have a stubborn streak, however. Good socialisation and training will ensure that your Chihuahua is the perfect canine companion. It's worth noting that if they are not socialised and trained from a young age, Chihuahuas can become a little dominant and harder to manage. 
It will take time to train your Chihuahua, but they are a highly intelligent breed and they do like to take things at their own pace. Historically, French use our companion dogs, making them savvy to living harmoniously alongside their humans. But as much as they love to please us, like the Chihuahua, they can also be stubborn to a fault if left untrained from a young age. Introducing simple commands as puppies will allow them to learn what it means to please you. A Frenchie will typically be in good health from a brisk walk equaling to around 40 minutes, but keep in mind that they won't tolerate this in the heat. In heat, it's best to keep their physical exercise to a minimum as they're very inefficient at cooling themselves down by panting. But in general, either a couple of 20 minute interesting walks or a brisk 40 minute wander will keep a Frenchie in good shape. As I just mentioned, the Frenchie is a companion dog through and through. This little dog much prefers the company of people to being isolated. Their affection is arguably what has made them one of the most popular breeds today, but it is worth noting that they can become possessive of their owners. As a couple, you can tackle this by training in equal parts and spending as much time with your Frenchie Bulldog as your partner does. Both the Chihuahua and the Frenchie are incredibly popular breeds, both ranking within the top 20 kennel club breeds for popularity. Although both are relatively small compared to other breeds, they have larger than life personalities and with plenty of early socialization and consistent training can make wonderful additions to any home. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Chihuahua videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Femre Chihuahua Show.